Welcome back everyone to day two of our Wind River Range trip. Uh, hope you enjoyed the first day. Uh, things changed quite a bit on day two. If you haven't seen the day one video and want the whole story, please check it out. Uh, <clears throat> at any rate, we'll start with uh, what happened on day two. So uh, our route is highlighted in pink on the map that you can see. Uh, we started up here at Beaver Park where we spent the night, had our little moose excitement, uh, got started the next day. We continued upstream going south along the Green River and still on the CTD to this point. Three Forks Park, another uh, bigger open area, saw I think a couple sets of people camp down here as we passed in the morning. Uh, we did have some frozen GoPro battery issues, so some of the video you'll see was shot with uh, cell phones. Apologize for that, but nothing we can do. It got down somewhere below freezing. There was a good deal of frost on things that were not under the trees. Our uh, food canisters and things like that had a lot of frost on them. We kept those far away from camp for obvious reasons. But anyway, so uh, still along the river. Not a lot of uh, elevation change until we got to this area. And this is where uh, at this Trail Creek Park intersection, uh, we left the CTD after having gone up uh, quite a long series of switchbacks through the, through the forest. Uh, we leave the CTD at this point and continued up Clark's Creek Trail and I'll see if I can zoom in enough to where the name pops up on this lake. It doesn't appear that the Gaia layer shows that name, but it does show on other, on other maps. If I didn't mention it before, we're using the Earthwalk Press uh, North Wind River Range map for this area as well. Uh, don't like to rely solely on technology. If something fails, I like to have a backup. So we had that, it is marked there. So this is Clark Street, Cleek, pardon me, Clark's Creek Trail. It's a uh, it's pretty good climb. Uh, as you can see, the day's walk took us uh, almost 11 miles. We went up almost three and a half thousand feet. Um, we started, you know, like I say, down at Beaver Park around 8,000 feet and we got up almost to 11,000, just a few feet under it. And where that happened is just to the west of Clark's Pond, Clark Lake, uh, there is this pass. I can't find a name for it on any of the maps that I have. Uh, surprised it doesn't have a name, but it's the pass between Clark Lake and the Green River Basin, and then going over to this area, which is called Lozier Lakes. Um, the maps, uh, we, we stayed at this point on uh, what's called Kenny Lake. Um, the Earthwalk map does have this lake that's called Martin labeled as Kenny. I think that's a, probably a mistake because they do have Martin Creek labeled. All the other maps show this one is Kenny Lake. Uh, by the time we got up here, you know, a long day, we were pretty tired. I don't think we made it till about six. Um, we got to the first little lake and we're hoping to find a campsite, but it really wasn't very nice. But when we got up here, we weren't disappointed. Absolutely gorgeous up high um, I think that's about probably probably close to 10 6 or 7 this little point right here is 10,825 according to Earthwalks map so that was our route for the day um, I by the time we got up there I didn't take any video of the of the campsite so I'm cheating a little bit the last portion of video um, for this one I took in the morning uh, on our third day when we woke up, <laughs> had a chance to rest and everything. But uh, this was our route. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the video. Uh, it was definitely a tough climb, but also very, very worth it and uh, had a great time. So here we go. Morning of day two. Left camp just a few minutes ago at 9.30. We just left camp at 9.30 a few minutes ago. Got up about seven when it was 
bright enough to see and sun's just starting to hit in the valley here so we've just come a little way south from camp upstream and we're going to cross this bridge to the other side kingfisher just flew by just went up in that tree see him King, kingfisher just went by kingfisher just flew by um, <clears throat> so anyway our plan is to go up to Lozier lakes today which mile wise maybe eight but about 2,000 feet elevation so all right so the GoPro batteries are hating life this morning so this is the bridge we're crossing that uh, thing just cut off so this is just upstream of where we left camp coming across the bridge so we may not have a little video for a while until I can overcome our battery woes anyway on we go all right we're having a frozen GoPro battery problem so we we'll live with the phone for a while but we're working our way up to Three Forks Park and the river drops a lot its origin is up in the hills not, not far south of us, but just a beautiful place. So we're going up there somewhere. videotaping you. All right, so we've had a lapse in GoProing because of a series of cold, dead batteries, but we've come up to 9,800 feet or something like that. 9,500, anyway. Climbed a lot, switched back. You didn't miss much, it was all in the woods. Crossing Clark's Creek here, which we'll be going up along some more. Very pretty. It's probably about 12.45. Good job, love. Okay. We're about to leave the Continental Divide Trail here. A little bit farther. We'll pick it up when things get more exciting. We have to get this high drama stuff like signposts. <clears throat> All right, so we're coming up to our intersection where we get off the CDT and onto 
Clark's Creek Trail to continue up Clark's Creek. So we made it up to Clark Lake. Very pretty, very high. It's only 10,200. We're going to go a couple more miles. It's going to be a long day. But what we have to do is go up over that pass up there. I'll gain another 600, 800 feet and then down to Lozier Lakes. So be a little bit more work and then we can get to our destination for the day. But yeah, it's been a climb. We've come over 2,000 feet up and somewhere around seven miles. Hi, pretty. How's things at Clark Lake? Beautiful. Love you. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Up we go. Gray J. We are looking back at Clark Lake, the direction from which we came. And we came down the gap to the right there, and then around and down to the Green River. But we are going climbing up out of the Green River drainage. Oh man, quite a climb too. GoPro start recording. Okay, uh, hopefully we got the last couple seconds. GoPro is giving me fits. Uh, anyway, we're getting there. 10,782. All right. I'll be mad <laughs> 20 more feet up and we'll hit our last major contour, according to the map. So, there it is. Get me the hell up this hill, Glacier. That is close to the top, but since we're in the Rockies, there's always more up. So, we're gonna go up. See you up there. Well, I don't know if this pass had a name, but we are on the top of it.
Here we are. Yep, just under 11,000. Good job, bunny. That one right there is probably the, uh, the little one, whatever it's called. I think these guys are just puddles, but that's, there's probably some places to camp down there. All right, we're in a different watershed, hey? Yeah. All right. So I believe the lake in sight is Kenny Lake. And we're going to try to find a campsite there, I hope, because we've about had it. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, September 13th, and uh, we got in here, gosh, probably 5.30 or 6 last night. It was a really tough day. This is actually Kenny Lake that we're on. This is our campsite, and I'm going to take you for a little tour because it is amazing views. We got the morning sun coming up here. It's uh, 7.30. Uh, we've been up for, you know, we've been up for a while because the moon is like unbelievably bright. So anyway, this is our camp. We're going to be leaving tomorrow. We're going to be going down uh, Raccoon, or pardon me, Porcupine Trail. We've got to go down out of here, cross over Porcupine Pass, and then down, and we'll probably find a place to camp not too many miles from the trailhead and be out tomorrow. So we kind of picked up the pace in anticipation of getting rained on and stuff, wanted to get over Porcupine Pass. So it is clouding up a little bit today. But we'll take you for a little walk around here um just got our packs and stuff over here and uh looking up the cliffs right behind us <clears throat> this lake is really pretty we're obviously pretty much above tree line uh for point for reference that that knob there is 10,835 feet so we're well, that's where we are and uh, take you over here to sun's coming up so hopefully it won't blind the camera too bad but this will be actually looking back the way we came <clears throat> once I get over here and you can see So I'm going to kind of stay behind the tree here, but yeah, we came from, uh, <laughs> we came from that away. Uh, there's been another small lake down there. Uh, we were going to try to camp at, but it was really not very nice. I think I called that Kenny Lake yesterday, but this is, this is actually Kenny Lake here. But this is what we're looking at. We're up high. The winds are, uh, rugged and beautiful place right now we're looking to the east obviously because the sun's in the camera <laughs> now we're 
pointing more to the south at these craggly peaks. So, yeah, this is it. So we got uh, water on for breakfast and coffee. And uh, you can probably make it out down there, the blue containers and my little pad. Got the stove going down there. And uh, so we'll get some breakfast, get packed up, and goal today is to get over Porcupine Pass and find a place to camp before the rain hits, hopefully. I think we only have a total of like 14 miles or so to, from here to the trailhead, so it's uh, going to be dropping down about a thousand, having to climb back up about a thousand to Porcupine, which is at 10,800, and then back down to the trailhead that's at like 8,000. So it'll be some work. Yesterday was pretty brutal. Anyway, back to camp and that's it for now. We'll catch you on the trail.